review assignment. That was the part one of our review for Monday's test. Um, reflect this figure across the x-axis. Uh, we need to remember that the word reflect means flip. So we are flipping this shape over some line. What line? The x-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal line that goes through the middle of our graph. It's the starting point for us. Um, that's right, Regan. So I'm going to flip. I'm going to reflect this triangle across the x-axis. That means that every point that's above the x-axis is going to go below it in the same spot. So this point, this point right here is going to flip down here. This point that's above the 4, it's 2 above the 4, right? I'm looking at distances here. So how far away is it from the x-axis? Well, it's 2. So I'm going to put it to below the x-axis. I'm going to reflect it all the way down there. And then this point all the way at the top at a height of 5 is going to be all the way at the bottom, 5 down. Once I'm finished, I should have a triangle that looks the same but is flipped upside down. And based off my picture here, I can see that I did that right, aside from drawing really bad straight lines. All right, we're going to keep going until little Regan doesn't let me do this anymore. Um, what is the reflection shown on this graph? So it looks like we already have the reflection drawn. We want to know what happened. Well, I can tell by looking at this picture that the triangle flipped over this blue line right here, which is called the y-axis. Um, this is a reflection. So we would say that this is a reflection, a flip, a reflection over the y-axis. So that would be your answer for number two. Nice job, Rigi. What is the dilation shown on this graph? Well... That's going to be in the next video because I got to get Rigi out of her uh, high chair.